All right, hello everyone and welcome back. This is part 28 of my Mass Effect 2 Let's Play series. Recap of part 27. We went to Hailstrom. Yeah, I got it right, Hailstrom. Or Haystrom, not Hailstrom, because I, I always think it's Hailstorm or whatever. But yeah, we went to Haystrom to go add Tally to our squad. She was doing a mission on the planet to investigate the planets, uh, the sun that was in that sort of solar system as it was decaying uh, at a rapid rate, faster than it should. Um, but we saved her from some Geth forces that were trying to attack her, added her to the squad. So what I want to go do first is go talk to her, and then we will head over to Omega to do Samara's loyalty mission. So without further ado, let's get going into that. Figured I don't need to spend you know, a minute and a half explaining something that we've, you know, sort of already covered. I'm going to, of course, do some upgrades. Right here, there's nothing else that we need to do. <coughs> Let's actually go, um, we'll talk to Kelly first. I had a wonderful chat with your friend Tally. She's not what I expected from her psych report. I like her. <laughs> She's not my friend. Uh, I don't want to be a complete a-hole, but yeah, we'll just say she's okay. It's good to have her on the team. Horians are so fascinating to me, but they also make me a little sad. Why do they make you sad? Their environment suits are so beautiful, but with their immune systems, they're trapped inside. I wonder what they look like under those helmets, or what their skin feels like under those suits. Whoa. Kelly wants to get close. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you... Commander, you've received a new message at you your private terminal. You just said that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Transfer request approved for the Admiralty Board from the Migrant Fleet, which is Tally. Um, and then Captain Bailey telling us that uh, Thane's son, Kolyat, is performing well. No need to really read through those. Gonna head up to the Captain's Cabin um, and feed the fish that we have as we don't want to let our two types of fish die out on us. So that should be good. Let's get out of here. Head down to engineering where Tally is at, and let's go uh, talk with her for a little bit. Figured we'd get some background from Tally now that we've added her to the squad. Shepard, what can I do for you? Can you do anything to give the Normandy an edge over a collector ship? Definitely. With the right supplies, I can fortify our shields. The collectors cut through the Normandy's barriers immediately last time. My upgrades might give us a better chance. Awesome. And that's exactly what we need. Multi-core shielding. So let's add that in. Shepard, what can I do for you? Can you do anything to give the Normandy an edge over a collector ship? My shield fortification will help, but I don't think there is much more I can do. Okay, so her upgrades are, are in and we're good there. Let's ask her about her previous work while sort of not on our team. Is the new Normandy giving you any trouble? Please, Shepard. I'm oh. a Quarian. Give me a chunk of scrap metal, a circuit board, and some element zero, and I'll have it making precision jumps. I was worried about working with Cerberus engineers. But they know what they're doing, and they've been very polite. Okay. Um, I, I don't think we need to get uh, a questioner about the Normandy status, um, but let's just sort of get some background on her. We're going to go, I guess, dig a little bit deeper. Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat while taking out Geth on Haystrom, did we? I still can't believe everyone else is dead. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Tell me about the fleet's Admiralty Board. It's one of two major political powers among my people. The Admirals make decisions related to defense or needing immediate action. They also handle major criminal charges, like treason. The other political power is the Conclave, a group of representatives from each ship. They make most of our laws and fleet decisions. We sort of, if you watched some of my Mass Effect 1 videos where I talked with Tally, we already covered all of that. I guess this is for new people that either weren't paying attention, 
in Mass Effect 1 or decided to just jump right into Mass Effect 2. So I guess a good little explanation, you can definitely get a lot more information in Mass Effect 1. Any news yet on the data you sent? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while, or on an unsecured channel for that matter. Alright, I mean, I guess quick response, um... Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? Um... Yes and no. We don't like Cerberus as a whole, especially with some of our dealings in Mass Effect 1, but they are sort of helping us to fight the Reapers, which no one else really seems to want to fight. So that, I guess, one positive among the many negatives. Does it look like they're pulling the strings, Tally? I'm not working for them. They're working for me. So you ordered the listening devices and tracking beacons that are all over this ship. I know you need resources to fight the Collectors. But be careful, Shepard. Yeah, they're definitely not on our side completely. Um, and we know why she hates Cerberus. She's already explained that a little bit. It's We really just don't have a choice. And, you know, being brought back to life, it's not like I was like, Oh, I want to pick the Alliance to bring me back, or the Asari, or, the, you know, the Salarians. It's like, it, Cerberus is the only one that brought me back, so I'm kind of stuck. I don't like working with them any more than you do. But we need them. I know. Just watch yourself. You're their best weapon right now. But as soon as you no longer serve their needs, be ready for them to turn on you. For now, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming by. Okay. Sort of one of our uh, quicker interactions. You know, not bad. Um, I don't feel like talking- guys put some crazy tech into the main guns. It's almost doubled their power draw. They seem pretty weak. Yeah, we don't need to talk with the engineer people to sort of see what our upgrades have done to the system. Let's get going over to Omega. Yeah, let's go to Omega. We can go do Samara's mission. land and let's get going. No, sorry, I forgot that we don't really need to you know, watch those landing cutscenes. You're going to take Samara with us. There's no fighting, as far as I can remember, so it doesn't exactly matter who we bring as our second person. I'll just take Garrus along, just for, you know, giggles. Yeah, I definitely want to save... You know, if I was going to take Samara along, I want to save a lot of our stuff for Reeve. It is really not a big difference. Uh, with her, it'd probably have a better power recharge time rather than the. It, it pull is okay, but yeah, we'd I'd rather save. We should be able to put one into pull, so at least have it do something, and then save. Once we have her loyal, we can fully upgrade Reeve, just like uh, I do with Shepard. That should be good. Omega is too high for me to pinpoint in Ardot Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardot Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. That's what I figured. Before we head over there, let's go check out the markets. I don't feel like talking to those guys. They've got some. They've got some stupid side mission for us to do. I really don't feel like doing it. Dan does not. I always like walking past that guy. He's got a cool voice. Let's talk to 
I guess we don't have much. We'll we'll buy whatever's available. I'm pretty sure that we got everything when we initially came here, or just about everything. I haven't done it yet, but you can... Oh, talk to Samara. I don't... We don't need to do that. <clears throat> and we sort of removed the Corian that was down here. However, Ken Salvage, for some reason, is still open. Has no items, though, since we purchased them all. Let's go ahead and go talk to Arya Talok, who is, of course, the the leading Asari here on Omega. She should have some information about an Ardat Yakshi for us. That'll help us move along our investigation. On, There's definitely some parts of this game that are dated when playing it now. Um, the non-randomized sort of people, uh, like that annoyed human that was out there. I, you know, every time you come here, it's always that same human always asking to, to let him in. You know, it's just... I don't know, I, I would expect newer games to uh, have that more randomized so you don't have the same interactions every time you come to a location. What do you need? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I'd start looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. Hey, right, cool. Let's go find the apartments nearby. Let's take a look at the map just to get an idea. So we are in here. This is, of course, the entrance we came into. And the apartments are back over by the um, shops that we were at before. So let's go head over this way. Come on, let me in. Yes, it's me. It'd be interesting to do sound design for a lot of uh, a lot of these newer games. All of the various little sound effects and um, sort of recordings and everything you have to do. It'd just be interesting to try and go through all that. It seems like it'd be a very meticulous job and probably annoying at times because you have to like that that armor movement right there that Shepard's doing. You know, there's some like creaks in the armor. Yeah, so you'd have to record and put that in. I don't know, just random thoughts for right now. Let's talk to um, this lady right here. Seems to be part of the mission. Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago and no one seems to care. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. Yeah, um, that's... Kind of why we showed up. We believe that's true, so we need to get some more information. I'm looking into your daughter's death. Are you one of Arya's people? Sure. I'm working for Arya. Are you ready to answer my questions? I don't care if Arya sent you. You're asking about my nep. That's what matters. No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nep is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Alright. I guess we'll just start off with Neff herself. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My Neff had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and... Huh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Hey, right, what about places that she'd go and hang out at? Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, 
a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morin. Oh, okay. So that's that's a big hint right there. We we already know that Samara's daughter is Morinth, or she's going by Morinth right now. Um, so, yeah, that's definitely her. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. It's kind of like a typical mom, though, that you know, has sort of a shy, sort of introverted kid. That once they start going out, and... Well, in this case, it is true. It's always, ah, uh, they've got to be giving them drugs or doing something crazy with them. And, and you know, it's maybe she was appealing more to her daughter's wilder side. And, yeah, while the, the drugs and everything else that Morinth was doing with Neff wasn't great. You know, it's... Well, I guess maybe in this case she was being forced a little bit or in, sort of enticed and, you know, entranced by... You know, Morinth and everything she does due to her Arda Yakshi personality, but uh, in most cases it's more of a, well, your your daughter was, you know, kind of going along willingly and fell into the wrong crowd or started doing those things. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. Okay, well let's... Uh, let's see if we can actually get to her first. Once we have all the facts, we'll decide on a course of action. If you find the person that hurt my nephew, you kill her! Or tell me where she is and I'll kill her! Jeez, that's a little... I mean, I get being emotional after a death of a family member, especially your daughter, but... Bro, you gotta, you gotta pump the brakes. You mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. She's gone. And nothing will fix that. Why did this happen? She never hurt anybody. We need to look in your daughter's room. Nothing will be disturbed. Uh... We'll take a look around. We'll try not to mess with anything. I'll try. But if my investigation requires it, I'll do what I have to do. Please try. For me. Please. I'll examine her things. Alright, so yeah, one of the main things we need is the VIP password to get inside the club down the street. Neff made that. A man from some gallery offered me four years' salary for it. But I'd never part with it. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Okay, so we'll have to remember that for later. Forta might be a sort of key talking point with Morinth. Alright, so we'll read the oldest entry then. We'll go from oldest to newest. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Okay, so it wasn't even that Morinth brought her out to the club initially. She went to the club on her own. Um, Jerut is, of course, the name that we're going to have to drop to get into the club. Um, and then it seems like afterwards, oh, I met Morinth, and now I'm enticed and, and ready to go, you know, party and do crazy stuff. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. <sighs> Am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and... She's definitely not human. Just 
When we dance and the Halix is flowing through me, the way she looks at me with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Whoa, okay, so they got a little bit closer. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. And she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Yeah, it sounds like we'll be able to easily sort of trick her into thinking that we're that sort of weird artist type. She kills with sex, and I have no plans to sleep with her. Perhaps you have a right to be glib, Shepard. But caution is wise here. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. <laughs> the sort of sex addict in Shepard is like, damn, you know, this sounds like it'll be a fun time. She sounds like my kind of a sorrow. <laughs> you joke, Shepard, but for all your might, you will be in great danger. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. Okay, so it seems like you have an idea, so why don't we just move this one along? You sound like you're working your way toward an idea. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. Sorry, I was, uh... I had the mute button on the, the microphone, so... Yeah, I mean, I... We can handle ourselves well enough with our uh, sort of conversations, so we should be okay, and it won't really face any harm, and I'm sure Samara is going to be close enough by. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Marinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. Okay, so we better go get going with it then. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Cool. Um, yeah, we don't need to talk to the mom for right now. Let's head over this way. The VIP section is back. It is nigh. Yeah, VIP section's up at the top of the steps. Drop Jerut's name, and then we should be in the club easily. What do you want? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife is nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jerut. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. If someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Perfect. Okay. So it's a big thing, just make sure not to... <laughs> Don't pick fights with people. You must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. Okay. So... Yeah, let's just sort of go over how to get her out there and... I, the apartment stuff should be easy, it'll just be a conversation. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. Okay, so we should be all set to go then. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, 
Thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Oh. It was oddly sexual and close. Um, just to make sure that we're not working the mission I'm going to well, save before going in. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I wanna... I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. She sounds amazing. Is she here? She was here a couple of days ago talking about the band. She's here a lot. When she comes back, I'm gonna have tickets. Uh, I don't want to pick a fight with the guy, so I'll just tell him sorry, not get away from me. I don't have any tickets. If you score some, I got some creds for you. Okay. We'll walk over this way. I hate this place and everyone in it. I'm just sort of checking out all over again. the general people. We're not punching anybody. I don't talk to people. We've got some bro over here. It seems like we can talk to. Uh, hi. I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? Uh, maybe? What kind of help? My friend Moiral is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Florid. He's the worst of the worst. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Florid's on her. His gang is on the way here, and they're gonna make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. All right, so what do I need to do? What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Flort, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order, please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. I'll think about it. Please do, please. Remember, terminal and eternity. In that order, just work them into a sentence. Are you okay, sure so let's... We got Florid over here. That's what I figured. I, I, I knew that there was place. something over this way. Do you need something, man? Right, we need to do terminal then eternity. Is there a public extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an omni tool? That is a pretty strange question. I get by on public terminals. My omni tool's been broken for an eternity. That's a tough break. I'm done talking to you now. Hey, Florid. I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, Moirol. I'm ready to head out. Alright, seems like we are all set there. She got the message, and we'll go talk to our boy over here. You're breathing on my drink. Thank you so much. I really thought she was going to die. Awesome. So we. Lots of money on display here tonight. Seems like we can talk to this guy over here. Good cred hunting tonight. I'll hit him in the alley. As long as it isn't one of Arya's people, we're good. We gotta get enough creds to keep Hank off our backs. Hey. What are you looking at? Just a bunch of losers. A pair of sad losers who think they're something. And are about to find out they're not. <laughs> Who's gonna show us that? You? Human thinks he's a tough guy. Tougher than you. Oh, there it is. The self-defense, baby. Knock him out. Boxing match. Got him good. Good work. I'm not gonna insult anybody. Let's go dance with this lady. Hey! hey. Wanna dance? Watch this. I don't know if that's good. Dude. No thanks. I'm happy with just me and the music. Uh oh. Seems like that didn't work out too well. We don't have enough uh, Paragon score. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. I'm not gonna come on, baby. I can pay. I'm a good tip too. I told you to stay away from me. The music here used to be avant-garde. I'm sitting down. Yeah, we're not gonna pick a fight. That doesn't work out well. Let's go talk to the bartender. See if we can do something. Oh. What do you have? These are good people, but they look bored. Bored people don't spend money. 
Have you got an idea for how I could fix that? A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. Your rep will improve, and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better be right. Listen up, everyone! We love having you here, so a round of drinks on the house! Nice. Everybody loves a round of drinks. Nice. My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? All right, there we go, baby. Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? Confidence. Yeah, um, I, I know what I want and when I want it. I know what I like. Do you? I'm not going to talk about just the cars. Let's talk about music. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms. Violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? Luckily, through our other research, we know that she and um, it was Neff love to do Halix together. What do you think of Halix? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. What about arts? We've got... Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? The Elcor Forta. Do you know the artist Forta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Like Vienna. Do you know Vienna? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. Ooh. Travel? I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Luckily, uh, it seems like all of our responses are in this bottom left area. Just very simple sort of conversations with her. One of the things that I'm surprised about is that she enjoys someone that's so similar to her. You know, all we did was talk about the interests of her, which, I don't know, it seems kind of boring for someone that, like, loves the hunt of people. Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. Hey, hey. Dude, oh, sh Hitting the microphone again. <clears throat> like a dumbass. Well, probably doesn't help that I've got the sort of pop filter arm right in front of me. Let's examine the pill bottles. Have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I suppose you. I was into dueling for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. Whoa. This lady is not so... It's a nice-ass apartment, though. Would this technically be considered a studio apartment? I mean, there's no individual room. You've got... Where's the bathroom at, though? I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. A gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. Yeah, that's what we've come to know, I guess. So let's talk with Morinth. We should have enough Renegade score to combat any of her uh, sort of seduction, but we will see if we've prepared well enough. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? No. I'd rather fight than hide. Yes. Better to take control of your fate. I've never understood the fascination with safety. 
Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission. I think we share that, you and I. Mm, too bad I am the, the muscle in this one. You compare us, but you're nowhere near my league. So strong. I need this. Here it comes. Look into my eyes. Whoa. And tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. Uh... No? I'm not the victim you were hoping for. But you... Who are you? Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. And there it is. The trap has been set. Marin! Ugh. Mother. Do not call me that! I can't choose to stop being your daughter, mother. You made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me! Enough, Moran! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari, but they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. So this is an interesting one, that they actually give you the choice to choose between the mother or the daughter. And this is a very great sort of shot scene in the uh, sort of animation and the movement of the characters, where it's, you know, you've got this big sort of battle going on. We are going to kill Morinth, of course. I, I don't think I've ever saved her in my previous playthroughs, it just, it doesn't make sense to be like, ah, you know, we've had Samara along for a few missions, and now nah, we're gonna take the daughter, because that makes a lot of sense. Like, yeah, let's take the the crazy, uh, you know, sort of killing machine along instead of, I mean, while Samara is a killing machine, you know, it seems like she's more just and has, like, a code that she follows, whereas Morinth is just, I live by my own rules and I kill for sex, and that. So yeah, we're gonna kill Morinth and end this sort of battle. End of the line, Morinth. And they call me a monster. <coughs> Here it is. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. Whoa. I wonder if she used, like, throw, like, just on her head or something. I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? I don't think asking if she's okay is a good idea. Yeah, we can get out of here. Let's go. Oh. That was quick and interesting that we just sort of popped outside. So yes, let's head back. Yeah, we'll head back to the Normandy and, you know, cut the video there. Um, there's no reason to stay on Omega, there's no other missions, so yeah, we can go get this done. I sort of forget what uh, Tally's loyalty mission is. Yeah, we're just gonna go back to the Normandy. Skip all of that. Huh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, yeah, I got nothing. We're gonna have to check the journal once we get back onto the Normandy, which is now. Let me check the journal. She's being marked for treason. Uh, okay, yeah, that's right. Uh, now I remember. We have to actually go back with her to the migrant fleet to um, sort of participate in a trial where she's being accused of sending back live Geth to the migrant fleet. 
Okay, but for now, I think we'll we'll call it quits here. So we were able to help Samara, um, you know, find Morinth and eventually defeat her. We got a bunch of Paragon points, which seems to make the most sense to kill Morinth. Uh, you know, as I said before, it doesn't make sense. You've added a character of Samara, and you're helping her along the way, and then all of a sudden at the end, you're just like, Nah, I'll take Morinth, the the sexual deviant who loves to kill everybody for her own pleasure versus the sort of righteous I follow a specific code and kill because I sort of have to to fulfill that code in Samara. So we will of course have Samara as our loyal member of the squad and be all set there. Next part I think we'll go start off by talking to both Samara and Tally. Tally to get her loyalty mission, Samara to figure out some information after her loyalty mission. Beyond that we will most likely go to um, to Chunka. Either that or do the IFF mission. I'm not exactly sure which one I want to do yet. We'll choose one of them. We'll go do that. But I think for now, we will call it quits. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Do the usual YouTube stuff on the videos. And be sure to check in next week for part 29. That's all for us today. Thanks a lot, everybody. This is Tatman, signing off.